back to my channel. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about shoes. Do you struggle with the right shoes when you travel? And how do you determine what's a good shoe for the beach? What's a good shoe for Europe? What's a good shoe for Ireland? Although it's in Europe, Ireland is a little different, right? Um, what about those Northern countries in Europe? And what about those Southern countries in Europe? And how do you take all the shoes you like without weighing down your backpack or your suitcase? Today, I'm gonna share with you my five favorite traveling shoes right now. What I love, why I love them, and why they work for me. So in all honesty, these are the shoes I'd like to take with me when I travel. Pretty little flip-flops and high-heeled boots. These are what I'll wear when I go out, when I'm home, just tromping around doing my thing. But these boots are heavy. They're much too tall for traveling around Europe. And these, although cute, have no support and are absolutely worthless if you're visiting uh, a southern country and you're gonna be doing any adventures or any exploring. So, we'll get rid of these. If you love to travel and you love your high-heeled shoes, but you know taking them on a European adventure probably isn't practical, I'm gonna show you my favorite pair of heeled shoes that are comfortable and you could probably walk a day in them without having too much trouble. So these are it. They are a wedged shoe, open-toed. I love open-toed shoes, they're my favorite. Um, from Skechers with the memory foam inside. Now they have a little bit of arch support, not the best, but these shoes are truly comfortable. They have a zip-up back and they fit my foot really well. Now I have a very small foot with a huge arch. So yeah, I could tromp around Europe in these for a few hours and I could probably even run and catch a train in these, right? But I'm not sure they're the shoe I'm gonna take with me to Europe this year. Now these, on the other hand, are the shoe I'm going to take with me to Europe. Why? Well, they still have a little bit of a heel. I love my heels. Um, but they're, they're lightweight. They're, they're like a cork heel, okay? They have a little bit of a rise. But what they have that I love the most is a good arch support. So I've been practicing for my trip to Europe in these shoes. I've been going to work, doing eight hour days on a concrete floor, and I've had no pain, and my feet feel great at the end of the day. So what are these? They're wonderful shoes from White Mountain called Footbeds. And it took me, my, my husband said I had to order 100 shoes before I found the right pair. And he's right. Like, I feel like I ordered so many shoes and had to send them back, but this shoe works. Now, if you like something a little uh, flatter, a little more form-fitting, a little more hiking material, these would be the shoe I would take. And these are the shoes I took to Belize with me this year. They were comfortable, they have a good tread, and they were easy to hike around in. I could walk through the water in them. And although many people recommended a lot of different shoes for, for going to the beach, this was the shoe that fit my foot the best. They're from Merrill. They have an arch support, which I need. They still have a little heel, not much, but enough for me. And they were comfortable. They're the Quantum Grip. So we were hiking over rocks and, and doing a lot of different stuff. These were the perfect shoe. If you watched my Packing for Ireland video, you'll know that I took these Blowfish boots with me. They're vegan, so they're not leather, but they're man-made materials, but they were great because they repelled the water and there was a lot of rain while we were there and they were fabulous. They're they're a little bit heavier boot, but <clears throat> they were perfect for tromping around Ireland. Now, as you know, I'm going to Europe this year and I'm gonna spend 22 days there. What boot will I wear on the way there and probably on the way back and if I need them uh, for tromping around maybe in the Northern countries that we're gonna go to? 
This trip, I'm gonna take these boots. They have a really soft, spongy sole. They have a leather upper, and <clears throat> they're pretty lightweight. Now, I wouldn't say they're super lightweight, but they're lightweight enough for me to pack in my uh, backpack carry-on and not, not feel too uncomfortable. They have a side zip. What are they, you ask? They're a soffit, S-O-F-F-T. They have what I need, which is an arch support. I have a very high arch, so the arch support is really important to me. They have good tread. And I don't fly with um, with any sort of sandal on. I fly in my boots. If I have to run through an airport or if I have to get somewhere, boots are what I travel in. So these will be going to Europe with me as well. So you're probably wondering, why don't I just travel in a pair of tennis shoes? Well, I really like to travel in jeans, a sweater, a, usually a vest, and boots. It's what I'm most comfortable in. It's what keeps my feet, because they swell up on the plane when I'm traveling. The boots have a little bit of room in them for me to move around. Usually I take my boots off on the plane and wear my socks, but or my slippers if it's a long flight. But I also need to take a pair of tennis shoes. So, oh my God, I have to take another pair of shoes to Europe with me. So I will be bringing my favorite Skecher tennis shoes, right? These are perfect. They're, they're slip on, even though they have uh, laces and they have a good arch support and good foam support inside. Now they're super lightweight. They weigh nothing. Okay, these are a great shoe for travel. And you're probably asking me, which shoes am I gonna take to Europe with me? Now my husband who overpacks all the time will probably give me a really hard time about the shoes I'm gonna take. I'm gonna wear my boots as I told you. They'll probably spend most of the time in my backpack carry-on. I'm definitely gonna take my white mountain foot beds. These will probably be what I wear every day. And of course, my Skecher tennis shoes. Um, I'll probably bring these because my husband and I like to run, although I've told him he's not gonna run while we're there. We'll probably go for a run or two. So these will be great if I wanna go um, hiking in nice weather, the boots if it's a little bit chillier. I really wanna take these. They're lightweight. They're from Skechers. They have a heel. Mm. If we go out to dinner, I like to dress nice and wear good shoes, but we'll see. These might be added to my bag, but I'll definitely take the first three. Maybe squeeze these in if I have room. But these are my top shoes for traveling in 2023. You can find the links to these shoes down below, and um, I hope this helps you as you journey around the world, take your trips, travel, feel comfortable, and definitely, definitely take a good shoe that fits you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my top five favorite shoes for traveling in 2023. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my next video.